Hello everyone, welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now there's so many expansions, I'm not sure where I'm at. I think the promo is the Witch Queen, but I didn't buy it. This is a first person shooter, MMO slash slash slash. It has a lot of everything. It's a... I don't know if it's Earth, per se, but it's a world that you are given the title of a guardian and to protect it from the darkness. It gives you the impression you're long dead or just brought back. Now, I have no recollection of ever hearing about this game in a sense, meaning I never played any, the first one, any expansions, but my instincts tell me that I've come across it in some aspect, before a friend uh, told me about it. So maybe like an Angry Joe review of the first one, maybe, or something like that. In any case, you get to pick like three classes, which have three subclasses, I think. And I'm very new to the game, so this is a surface thoughts, first impressions of the game type review, you know, if anything. And again... Destiny 2, A New Light, maybe it's called, made by Bungie. I think it first started with Activision, but that's me just glancing over the wiki page and, you know, trying to get some information. So again, new to the game, had a friend um, ask me uh, to give it a try. We were talking about games we would play together, and I really don't have a appreciation for first person shooters i'll get into that a little bit but um a free to play game that i could have fun with a friend i was down so i downloaded it the xbox um i don't know what the fuck this is uh, my brother gave it to me it's like an x series or something and first impressions are i have fun alone is a different story playing with a friend it was, I had a ball. And I don't know if that wears thin after a while. I'll, like I said, I'm new. But I look at it like the game looks great. Has some interesting story paths from the beginning. I was, okay, the AI looks okay. Um, like I said, I'd have to get more into the game. And it seems like a fun addition to a first-person shooter genre. Like I said, I'm not that guy. I'm more of a, um, you know, third-person type game shooter player, or whatever the hell you call it. But it's, it looks impressive. It feels, um, you know, uh, top-notch in that sense. However, I would not be surprised if I was a popular channel and there were a whole bunch of people coming in. Oh, you should have been here from the beginning. Glitches and no expansions. You couldn't do nothing. So yeah, I mean, I'm here now, you know, as of like April 3rd, just, you know, coming into the game for the first time. I know nothing about the end game or the raids and all that stuff, but for the modes I played, um, I going to say that I'm enjoying the game more so with a friend. I'm having, a, it was insane fun just fucking around in the game. And helping me go through my missions type thing. And teach me a little bit more about the game. Getting that out of the way. And saying that it's a fun game. Free to play. I know nothing about the pay to win aspect. If there is one. What you're buying. If it's just aesthetics and coloring. And special doodads. Or you know your, your skill level in this game. Really makes a big difference. I'm not there yet. This is just like my first impressions of how. I'm getting into the game what I'm doing, and the good and bad for me. So I kind of got a lot of the good out of the way in saying that I got in with a friend, had a ball, you know, we're talking on the, you know, the phone or whatever, Mike, and we just have a blast helping each other out, giving each other cover. Um, I think it's a three squad, and it goes up to four squad members in certain modes, and then a... Four verse four multiplayer, and getting the first person thing for me 
write is hard. So I think I played um, my favorite like first person shooter is a classic alien game. And then they made another one for, I think it was Xbox 360, which was out of this world. But if you're going to make a first person game, to me, it has to be streamlined for it. Meaning that for me in this day and age, if a game doesn't have options for third person, first person, I'm disappointed. Now, you get a game, I think it was like Fallout, which had a choose your own. You can go right over the shoulder, first person, a little bit back more. And that is, to me, the best. And if you're not doing that, I feel shortchanged. I want to go into a game and have the options. So right away, I'm facing a um, frustration in the game. Because if a game's not built right, so let's talk about the, the Alien game. You've got creepy corners and cars, and it's streamlined for your vision, what you see, and everything around you. This game feels like it was made and then cut back to be first person, meaning you're, you're in environments where you should be third person. I'm bouncing off walls, cutting into uh, dark places, and going downstairs, and I'm confused. I don't know where anything is. I don't feel comfortable and that, and again this is a bias and it's I'm just not a first person type player but if i'm gonna be captivated by the game like the aliens versus predator game or whatever that was and certain other games maybe it feels like they made it right they put the you in the situations your environment where your vision is adequate for what you're doing so in this game i feel like it's a game that was made for third person and then you just cut everything back and said oh you know i don't know if it has to do with graphics engines i'm not really um technical like that you know i just happen to be 51 now i think and been there from the beginning of everything you know not a hardcore gamer gamer but i played everything and a quick thing about what's my favorite games recently well for recently you're gonna have to go to like red dead 2 and um red dead with that Aliens game. These are games I play online. Had fun. You know, you interact with people in the communities. And you just have a ball. And the AI things, the uh, first person, they fit what you're doing. And I can feel comfortable. I feel immersed in the game. I don't feel that with this yet. Maybe I have to get better at it, get more comfortable. But it's just the feeling I get. Like, this is not a game that was made for first person. It was meant to be third person or optional again i don't understand why in 2022 every game is an optional and maybe you're not going to get the fallout 4 or maybe i don't know if it's fallout 4 but the the option there where you can go first person third person and then adjust the camera and lock it where you want it you know i'm not the oh it's gonna be realism no i, I want to see what the fuck is going on around me right and i want to be able to get uh, spatial and situational awareness. And again, if you don't make it properly, in my opinion, that's it falls short. So that gives me the biggest frustration right now is playing by myself. It's a little maybe less, but when I'm playing with my friend, I don't, I can't keep track of them, and I keep running into walls and getting stuck in like what feels like ditches or holes. And it's because I'm not used to getting this the view right oriented. And again, it feels like it's not made for that, like where it should be normal. Again, I play games all my life and I'm not the hardcore gamer, but it feels, it does feel like a letdown in that aspect. I'm trying to get my awareness and where to shoot and stuff. That's fine. But it's when you're moving from section to section, you're going through things and things are going to pop out. It falls short there for me. Now, again, I've only been playing it a little while. Just started. You know, I'm just going through the beginning missions. Got a friend. Had a fucking blast. Because you're going to have fun. This is just... It's good enough in that aspect. I'm not saying it's a garbage game in any aspect. But when I'm... You know, turning on the thing and I'm going to play by myself and I want to get to story mode and, you know, I want to get to a place where I feel 
a little more freer in the game where I could do the strikes and the vaults, plenty of things to do in the game. Again, you might come to me and say, Joe, this is ridiculous because when you were first here, it was a nightmare. Glitches, there's nothing to do. You were done with the game in two hours. I, I could see that. But coming in as a free-to-play player who was just like, hey, you know, I, I played this game. Want to play together? It'll be fun. I think it's awesome for that. Oh, well, science fiction world, sort of like powers you get with your weapons. I get it. I'm, I'm really into that. And again, the classes for me, uh, making one of each, not getting hardcore yet. Again, this is all surface stuff. I think it all suffers from the same thing. It's, for me, first person not done properly. But I can imagine people who play first person all the time and there's all these games that they are laughing at me like, you know, noob, <laughs> you know. There's this, uh, I guess it's, I've never been a big fan of it and I'm going to be honest about that, so... Mechanics, AI seem okay, good. Uh, it does feel a little repetitive in the way the missions feel and look. But it is, it kind of made sense to me when I was with my friend afterwards. And like, no, you're going back to the same place. So, oh yeah, I do recognize this place because I've been here before. Now, will I notice that as I progress past these missions? Maybe. Again... I'm looking at a game where I feel it is cut back and refined for what it is, but it was a mistake. So it feels like you're supposed to be doing a lot of other things in the game, like flying these little land speeders around, whatever they're called, um, and your spaceships. Like, why isn't there a space battle? Even if it's a stupid uh, screen filler, uh, you know, uh, uh easy thing to do like it feels like it was supposed to be there it feels like there's supposed to be a lot more vehicle stuff in the game now again i'm only playing in the beginning you know just doing some of the easy stuff in the beginning with a friend helping me out getting in once in a while by myself uh i enjoy the free-to-play aspect of just gunning and having fun but i really can't get a handle on this first person thing and I think it starts amplifying my own fucking, you know, problems I have in my brain with finding it cut back and short. Meaning, maybe in Destiny 1, the goal was to have ship battles, vehicle battles, to be way more fleshed out and in-depth. And they got cut budget, they had to redo stuff and put out whatever Destiny 1 was. And then, when this comes out, they... You know, make it, I don't know if the villains were in the first one compared to this one yet. Because I don't know anything. You know, I guess I'll do that, you know, as much as I get immersed and entertained, I'll go look into that. I get a, um, you know, again, this uh, frustration level that builds and the more you play. And if you want to play for hours in the game, loot and stuff is fun. Um, it just feels a little, you know cut back i'm not comfortable with all the objectives and how to get them and your bounties and i guess i'll get used to that but it just feels weird getting into the game and finding where you got to go and keeping track of what you're doing uh you know but you know when i'm running around and i'm doing patrols and public events it feels like there's a lot to do and it keeps me occupied and it's fun but I think it's more fun when I find myself just outside <laughs> where I don't feel um, this first person is uh, inter interfering with my skill. Although even there, it bothers me. Um, just not a noticeable thing that's really, you know, sticking with me throughout the game. But running around, shooting, having fun, interacting with people, but now you don't hear them like talking or anything. But, you know, you see players all around doing their thing. You go to do a mission or a certain part aspect of the game, let's say called vaults or whatever, and it'll match make you with someone else and you'll go through. So you'll have three people. And I was wondering if they put each class in, and maybe that would be a little too much work or you would have to wait too long.
But, you know, you go in with two Titans, you can go in with three Titans, and Titans are class, you know, like the tank. And I find myself really interested in some of the lore, like they, they did some of it well. And again, I only say some of it because I don't know enough of it yet. I'm so new to the game that I don't know the, you know, the depth of where this game's going to go. I don't remember ever watching or paying attention to the title or reviews. So to me, I'm just immersed in this new world. This is a first game of a series to me. And if it is a Destiny 2, I feel that it's shortchanged in that what was one then, right? I mean, I, it just feels weird that I'm going to go and get new ships or well, it looks to my ships, but it does nothing. It's just a nice looking loading screen, which is fine, right? You know, if you're going to get a loading screen, you want to look nice and have a nice background and Oh, that's my ship. And then when you play with a friend, their ship pulls up with you, and that's cool. But there should be like something, you know, put some of the money and development into like a little thing you add on. I don't know. Looking at where the future will be for me with this game, for now, it's going to be a game I like to play with my friend. It's something I want to spend time with them, but they don't live close by, and they've been very generous to play things i like and do things that i like so i want to help and playing it by myself i am having fun but i find myself not in the game too much and one of the things i told my friend was the way i play games and do things i'll take breaks look over get my ball ready you know whatever and the game keeps booting me out and it's frustrating as hell because when I'm alone, I want to do it at a pace I want. I want to pause the game and or maybe find a place where uh, it won't reset on me. Now, granted, it could be a server thing, a data thing, and, you know, upload, download, whatever the fuck. They don't want a person in there. I, I get it, maybe. But it just makes me shut the game off. Like, that's how it, that's just how I work. Um, what game did I recently do? Like Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Master Duel. But when you're playing the game, there's a timer. So you have to be, you know, looking actively. But it's a strategy game that puts your brain in a different state. In these games, well, for me, I'm running around first person, shooting, shooting, jumping, all these things. Um, trying to figure out if I should use a kinetic weapon or energy weapon, when to pull out my heavy, use my super. It's got those aspects. and. I don't know. I just feel like I get overwhelmed with bumping into things and just not feeling comfortable. And I, you know, I come back to that again because when you're playing alone and you're taking a break from all this frantic stuff, the game boots me out, and it, I got to do it over again. I'm like, you know what? I don't. I don't. I'm not doing it. I just. I got to do something else. I got to move on. I'm going to write something. I got a uh, mobile Star Trek game I play with Ellen Lyons and. You know, everything that goes on in life. If I'm going to stay in four hours on a game, intense gameplay, perhaps I'd have to, you know, be diligent, a little more disciplined, and, you know, move with the controller, whatever, have all my weed ready. And, but it's not like that for me. It's like, oh, I'm going to make something to eat. I'm going to get up and do something, and I got to worry. I'm going to get booted out and put, I'm going to have to do all these little things over again. Well, if that's the trade-off for good stability online play, that's that's okay, you know. But I have been booted out of the game. I grant it. I'm not the in the best position to say it's not my internet because it most likely is my internet connection. But other than that, I've been having no problems that way, no major glitches or anything. So I guess this is where I start wrapping this up. That um, Destiny Two was never on my radar, although I have been more interested in twitch because my friends started streaming so i have been doing the following people rating them and seeing what gets my fancy i have not seen people play destiny 2 but i've seen people play things like apex and fortnite and i find myself even more immersed seeing a third person character than a first person so is that even more incentive to make the game third person 
Am I in a majority that like to watch people play the game, but I want to see the character? I want to see his armor. And Destiny has this thing where if you pull out your heavy weapon, or is it melee weapon, you get to see yourself. Well, that means for me, I want to use my heavy weapon a lot because I want to see my character. I want to play in third person. And I did see there was a glitch that you can pull, but it's certain boards. I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to try to get better at it at first person. Hopefully, I feel more comfortable because playing with my friend has been, it's just a ball. It's just having fun and getting to do things together. It's just, it, it makes it so much more, you know, um, enjoyable. And again, being honest and playing alone, I do enjoy the game. I'm liking, I'm getting, I want to get into the lore more and, Learn about things, about my character sheet, and all that stuff. Because that I think I can get more comfortable with. It will be more easier for me. Some of the things that are frustrating, like picking where I'm going and following my path and whatever the fuck. Finding out bounties and this and that. and I'll get there. And I think I will. But, again, if you're good at first person and you're an expert at it. I, I'm curious if you still even find those frustrating things like I do, like going into an, um, a building or an establishment or something, and you got to do these jumps and watch out for environmental dangers. I'm fucking lost. My only thing is to hit a wall face first, face plant, and then hopefully the wall, you know, whatever's underneath me is where I got to go because I can't get a hang of it. And I'm looking into the bonuses or the special abilities of my class that does the double jump bonus. And I'm boosting too far, too high. I go off cliffs and boost again and I kill myself when I hit the ground. But that's a learning curve that I learned now. Oh, so as you're getting close to the bottom, then you jump and you get your little booster and you know, take damage. Well, thank you, Demi. I don't, you know, begrudge the game. It's fans and all that stuff. This is just me just getting into the game. Giving my surface thoughts on, you know, how much fun I'm having and where it um, balances out for me. So, as a fun game to play with a friend, I totally recommend this game. Free to play. Now, granted, uh, I guess you could see if my friend has all the DLC, I can't do it. So, we had to do this thing like, um, if she makes me the leader, I'm the leader. Anything I can do, she can do. So it's more of those things. So if something pops up at her, I can't do it. Okay, that's this is fine, you know. Um, and that's 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 actually a good thing, I guess. Does it mean I'm gonna run out and buy these things? Not yet. I don't feel that comfortable with the game. I'd like to get some more solo sessions in, and you know, it's it's hard to explain. Um, when I play games like Gears of War, Army of Two, Red Dead. I'm immediately comfortable, even with some of the growth the game has to come go through to get to a place where it's more polished. And Destiny 2 could be that compared to 1, but me coming into the game, I feel like they, they had a vision that they cut back on, and they polished it up. And this is its you know newest thing with new updates and expansions they get. And I'm sure there's a huge player base for this that are huge fans, because I don't think it's shit. It's just sort of not for me to begin with. As soon as I hear first person, I'm kind of turned off. Again, I have played some games that are first person that I truly loved. Um, I'm talking about, you know, going back to the um, original PlayStation and, you know, PlayStation 2 and stuff. Like, I've been there from everything, from the Atari days and you know, ColecoVision and, you know. So, I'm not exactly in love with the game, but I am excited about what the game could offer me. As of now, I'm free to play. All I did was download the game. I'm having fun going in. <clears throat> a little frustrating getting my bearings, learning about everything. That's fine. And then a friend, I played with a friend, and I had a ball fun to the end till i got a little cranky at the end i think we were playing for like fucking five hours and um 
I felt like I was holding them back and, you know, I was, um, it was hard for me to, to understand when you're going through things called the vault that you have these bounties that have to do with the vault. And if you don't complete them, the vault just keeps recycling itself. I couldn't understand the concept. As in, Joe, if you don't do your things, we're stuck in this loop type thing. And I wasn't, I'm still not grasping it. But even then, just fun aspects of the game. Again, I will probably get more in depth if I ever do a continuation to this about what I really think of the AI, what I think, really think of the end game, and most of the content. But for now, I'm having fun, excited. I got a friend playing. My solo stuff is really cool. For free to play, I'm getting the gist of it. The law seems interesting. It looks great. For the most part, like, you never know. I might get to a part where, oh my God, you know, this happens. And I just think it's a a thing that should have been more. Like, I just feel like there's more to this game that was cut back, cut out, isolated. And I said, you know what? Let's just go first person. Is this, you know, again, now I'm thinking that this has happened before with other games. Maybe it has. But I'm not this game reviewer guy who goes in depth or does anything special. I usually leave that to other people. So I'm wondering if in my travels, the things I'm complaining about, I've heard from other people for other games. And is it something that this community recognizes? I'm not sure. But again, well, what can you say about a game that's free? You're having fun and it has some drawbacks. And even if it's drawbacks that aren't legit for everybody, right? Like, hey, get over it. It's the first person, you know, play more, get better at it. Fine, I'm, I'm down. I'll do it. So let's see where it goes. And I think that's where I'll leave this. Is it a recommendation? Yes. Destiny 2, A New Light, Witch Queen, whatever. I can't say for the if I'm saying the Witch Queen and giving that a go. But whatever rendition right now is free on your Xbox or whatever. Definitely worth the download. Definitely worth trying out. The solo mode, interesting. I'm excited to get in there, immersed. I'm just frustrated with the mechanics of the first person and what I perceive to be... A game that could have been insanely varied and fleshed out, and he decided to refine it to get things perfected. So maybe we're looking at a DLC download expansion that fixes everything, or Destiny Three where there's you know there's two space battles that um, break up some of the monotony of things that feel repetitive, or um, a new more creative AI thing, but I'll get to that as I play. So this is a first impressions review sort of of Destiny 2. I don't do many game things, but I had such fun with my friend the other day. I said, you know what, even if it's new, I'm new to it. I'm going to gonna do it because it's, you know, it's relevant to me now. And so I want to thank my friend Demi, um, get me into it, uh, you know, spending time with me in the game. It was hilarious. We had a ball and I recommend it. So I guess there we go. Destiny 2. A multi-platforms. I think it's even PC. You know what? I, sh I mean, I should be fucking diligent, right? I mean, what does this fucking thing say? What are the platforms? All right. Uh, Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Stadia, PlayStation 5, Xbox X, XS series. I think that's what I got, the X series. All right. There you go, everybody. Destiny 2. Recommend it. You might find some similar things i'd be curious to know leave a comment i'll talk to everybody next time take care